The following is a production of the Atumwa Radio Group Sports Network. Atumwa Bulldog Basketball is coming your way. On your news and information leader, 1240 AM and 102.7 FM KBIZ. Now, let's get you to the court with the voice of your Atumwa Bulldogs, Jason Van Arkel. Atumwa High Basketball is on the air. Good evening, everybody, from the brand new Harrison Barnes Gymnasium in Ames. Jason Van Arkel reporting. Annie Argo, the on-site video producer. Carmen Pratt, the radio producer, back at the KBIZ studios. It is an Iowa Alliance crossover doubleheader on this Tuesday night as your Atumwa Bulldogs take on the little cyclones of Ames High. We are getting on the air about a half hour late. The JV girls game went overtime. Atumwa dropped that game 36-31 in overtime. But now we're ready to start the varsity action. Your Atumwa girls come in at 4-4. Four and four. They're coming off a victory at home last night over Burlington, 45-24. Now last Friday was a frustrating night at Des Moines Lincoln as the Bulldogs again squandered a second half lead on the road in a conference game. But OHS got back on track last night by handling Burlington at home. The offense started the game slowly, but reached double digits in each of the final three quarters. Atumwa also continued its dominance on the boards last night, pulling down 15 offensive rebounds and 38 caroms overall. Defensively, they held Burlington to single digit points in three of the four quarters and put the game away by limiting the Greyhounds to just two points in the fourth. Atumwa also piled up 14 steals, playing the kind of stifling defense that has now led them to four wins in eight games. Tonight, Atomwa hopes to snap a three-game road-losing streak against an Ames team that is in the early stages of a rebuild. As is often the case, OHS is at a size disadvantage tonight, but the Little Cyclones haven't rebounded well and have turned the ball over a lot. Those weaknesses seem to match up well with Atomwa's strengths. As for Ames, they are 3-6. and six. A year ago, they were only 3-19. and 19. Their head coach, Cole Cook, is in his first season. Now, Ames was always a tough team to face last decade when the CIML cycle brought them together with a Tom Wup, but the bottom fell out last year as they dropped all the way to that 3-19 and mark. New coach Cole Cook has inherited a roster that's almost as young as a Tom was. So far in his first campaign, they've beaten some of the weakest teams in the state, but have also had to face some of the toughest schools in the CIML, even though they're not in the CIML anymore, and the results were about what you would expect. Now, sophomore Anissa Percival leads the Little Cyclones with 10.3 points per game, but they only average 32.5 points a game as a team. They also haven't rebounded particularly well, despite starting two six-footers on most nights, and they turn the ball over 24 times a game. One other factor for Ames is the loss of starting guard Lauren Smith. She started five of their first seven games, but is now out for the season. Ames is not a dreadful team. And playing on the road for Atumwa will not be easy, especially since this is the second night of a back-to-back -back and they're on the road. But so far this season, when you look at the results, Atumwa has played better, and they hope that carries over into tonight's matchup. We're just getting started on our Tuesday night broadcast. Right now we'll take a three-minute timeout, come back and tell you about the last time Atumwa met Ames, and take a look at where the Iowa Alliance South division is as we come into a Tuesday night of crossover conference play. Three minutes in, we're back on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Are you looking for someone to capture the special moments in life, such as senior photos, weddings, timely portraits, baby pictures, or even your furry friends? Look no further than Lee's Photography in Atumwa to schedule your appointment. Brian Connie and the staff at Lee's Photography have the knowledge and experience to capture your special moments and make your vision come to life. Visit them on Facebook to see the range of their work. Lee's Photography on East 2nd Street, across from the Courier in Atumwa. For all your all-around photography needs. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. Roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. 
Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced, professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. Get the small town charm with real world experience at William Penn University. Located in beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, William Penn is the perfect place to pursue your higher education. We offer a diverse selection of majors, including a four year nursing degree, and our state of the art facilities offer the latest technology. With small class sizes and affordable tuition, William Penn is a great place to call home. Invest in your future at William Penn. Visit wmpenn.edu today to learn more and enroll. Hi everyone, this is Karina Drummond with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. We are a full service salon offering hair, nail, brow, lash, facial, and waxing services. We also handle weddings, proms, and other large events with multiple person makeover sessions. So contact us early to get booked for your next event. We thank all of our loyal customers for your patronage and invite all newcomers to join our salon family. And remember, looking good doesn't happen by chance. It happens by appointment with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. Like Reflection Studio on Facebook and visit ReflectionStudio.com. That's Reflections with a Z. Tumble High Basketball on KBIZ and on the live video stream. Bulldog girls and boys on the road at Ames tonight. Now, it's been a couple of years since Tum was taken on Ames. The last meeting was two seasons ago, December 2020, when the Ames girls knocked off Tum with 64 to 25. That was back when Ames still had a pair of future collegiate players, Ashley Iams and Caroline Wade. Iams is now with Drake. The result, of course, was predictable. Now, only one player from each team is still around for this year's rematch. Ottumwa's got Olivia Corum, and Haley Prakashan is still on the roster and still playing for Ames High. Nobody else for either team was involved in that varsity game two years ago. The teams have met five times since 2013 with the Little Cyclones winning all five. We used to face Ames kind of on a rotation, of course, uh, with those CIML teams that were not in the Metro Conference, but now that Ottumwa is in the Iowa Alliance Conference with Ames, we'll play them once each season, this year in Ames, so next year the matchup will be in Ottumwa. Coming into tonight, let's take a look at those Iowa Alliance South Division standings. Des Moines North still on top, they're 4-0 and in the South, 8-2 and overall. Des Moines Lincoln 4-1 in South Division play, they are 5-6 and overall on the season. Des Moines Roosevelt 3-1, in the South, six and five overall. Ottumwa one and three in the division, four and four overall. Des Moines Hoover in fifth place, they're one and four in the division, one and ten on the season. Des Moines East is winless, zero oh and four in the division, zero oh and ten overall. Tonight, all of the games involving the Iowa Alliance Conference are crossovers between North and South. In addition to Ottumwa at Ames tonight, you've got Des Moines Roosevelt traveling to Waterloo East. Des Moines East is on the road at Fort Dodge. Des Moines Hoover travels to Marshalltown. And the only South Division team at home is Des Moines Lincoln. They are welcoming Mason City. Des Moines North has the night off. Let's take another three minute timeout. And when we return, we'll check the tail of the tape between Ottumwa and Ames. And we may be able to check those starting lineups as well. Three minutes and we're back on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. 
All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. Hi, this is Lisa Bittner, clinic manager at Mercy One Atoma Family and Internal Medicine Clinic. We specialize in geriatrics, internal medicine, family practice, and we see patients of all ages. We have an entire pediatrics team ready to serve you year-round. We also have quick care walk-in available Monday through Friday from 7 to 5. From babies to grandparents and everything in between, we are here for you at Mercy One Atoma Family and Internal Medicine Clinic. Your best life, our one purpose. Visit mercyone.org. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Hey, nice job clearing the clog. Thanks. You know anybody who could repair the water damage in my basement? Roto-Rooter does that. Do you guys fix water heaters? Roto-Rooter does that. How about a leaky faucet? We do that. Disposal repair? We do that. I've got to run a few errands, but if you could finish up those pies, that'd be great. Thanks. And away go troubles down the drain. Pies? Okay. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. High basketball on KBIZ and on the live video stream. Time to check the tail of the tape between Atumwa and Ames for our girls matchup. Atumwa's averaging 40.4 points per game. They'd like to raise that a little bit, but it's better than Ames, who's averaging 32.6 points per game. Atumwa's allowing only 35.1 points per game. Ames High is allowing 51 a game, which is a, a lot more than they're scoring. And they're their points allowed average is kind of all over the place. They played both the Ankenies. They've given up 90 in a game, but they also have wins over both Des Moines East and Marshalltown, and they held both of those teams to just 12 points, so I guess it all evens out. Rebounds per game, Ottumwa pulling down 34.5, Ames 24.3. Assists per game, Ottumwa 10.6, Ames 7.7. .7. Turnovers per game, Ottumwa 16.4. We'd like to lower that a bit, but Ames is turning it over 24.3 times per game. Shooting percentage, Ottumwa 30.3%, Ames 27.9%. Three-point shooting, Ottumwa 20.7%, Ames at 19%. Free throw shooting, Ames is a little better, Ottumwa 44.9%, Ames 49.5%. Neither of these teams have shot the ball very well this season. But again, Ottumwa defensively should be able to put some pressure on Ames, force some turnovers, and hopefully get out in transition tonight, get some easy buckets. That's the plan. And if Ottumwa can play defense the way they did last night against Burlington, they should be in pretty good shape. Let's check the starting lineups first for your Bulldogs. In the backcourt, the point guard, 5'6", sophomore Camden Krause, 8.8 .8 points and 6.4 rebounds per game. The second guard, 5'6", sophomore Maya Fuller, 4.3 points, 3.5 rebounds per game. The third guard, 5'5", sophomore Riley Heinbaugh, 4.1 points, 5.1 rebounds per game. The fourth guard, 5'7", sophomore Briley Yeager, 6.9 points and 4.4 rebounds per game. And then in the post, 5'9", sophomore Hunter Caldwell, 6.9 points and 5.8 rebounds per game. As for Ames High, 
In their backcourt, five foot seven sophomore Carson Penconen, 6.9 points, 2.1 rebounds per game. The second guard, five foot six junior Haley Prakashan, just averaging a point a game and two and a half rebounds. And then up front, five foot nine sophomore Anissa Percival, 10.3 points, 4.3 rebounds a game. Six foot junior Morgan Wall, 4.2 points, 4.1 rebounds per game. And six foot junior Abby McGuire, 4.1 points, 4.6 rebounds per game. One interesting stat, you would think Ames would be enjoying that height advantage with two six footers in the starting lineup. But a Tum was averaging 10 more rebounds a game than Ames is. And also, and I hope I'm not applying a reverse jinx here, Morgan Wall, one of those six foot players. Wall has taken the most three pointers of any of the Ames players. She's taken 45 three pointers. She's only hit five of them. She has not shot well from three point range, but that hasn't stopped her from shooting. I think at some one, talking to Coach Vandenberg, at some was going to let those three point shooters with low percentages, they're going to sag off in the post a bit and let them shoot a bit from outside and count on those percentages to even out. Okay, one thing that's interesting, if you're watching on the live video stream or if you saw the still picture we posted, they just darken most of the lights in here for player introductions. I'm not sure you could tell on the live video stream because the, the video and the still picture I took is showing up darker than this gym actually is and when they darken the gym here for introductions, the video looks about the same. Maybe a little darker, but we're not really sure why. Usually when, you know, on a video camera, the camera will um, amplify and enhance the light and make it look lighter than it is, but we're having the reverse effect tonight. This is a brand new gymnasium. Again, they named it the Harrison Barnes Gymnasium after the former standout who led them to back-to-back -back state championships and went on to play for North Carolina and is now making his career in the NBA. We'll talk more about that when we get to the boys' game. Ames is still coached by the same coach who led them to championships back then and led them to the boys' championship last year. The Ames girls, as we talked about a bit earlier in pregame, they were a formidable team. I don't think they ever got to state with any of the lineups that we faced. But again, they only won three games last year. They're three and six this year as they try to rebuild, and they're on their third coach in as many years. Last year's coach only lasted one season. And again, their head coach now is Cole Cook, who had been, if I remember correctly, an assistant at Dallas Center Grimes. Atumwa in the red road jersey, script lettering white Atumwa across the front, white trim on the collar and sleeves, white numbers front and back, white trim down the sides of the red shorts. Ames has home white jerseys, orange and black trim, orange lettering trimmed in black, orange numbers front and back. Time now for the National Anthem. We'll take two minutes and return with the opening tip on the Atoma Radio Sports Network. At Family First Chiropractic, it is our goal to get you and your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for the rest of your life. We deliver an elevated level of care for the entire family. We approach healthcare from a holistic view, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure that our patients achieve the best results as fast as possible. We believe you deserve the best. A little preventative care now will eliminate pain management in later years. We want our kids to grow and live an active, healthy lifestyle. Get your family checked at Family First Chiropractic. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication 
to making your financial life easier together. So let's get to know each other because together is better. Atumwa High Basketball, 1240 AM, 102.7 FM, KBIZ. Live video on the Atumwa Radio Group Facebook page. Good evening once again, everybody. Jason Van Arkel with you. Atumwa and Ames, the ball in the air, the tip controlled by the Little Cyclones, and our girls game is underway. Ames moving left to right as we look at it here in the opening half. Swing it over left side for Carson Piconet. Drive down to the baseline underneath the hoop, kick it right baseline, swing it out to the wing, and a three on the way is off the rim. No good. A miss by Anissa Percival, their leading scorer, and the rebound to Atumwa. Ames wants to press off the miss. Kraus across the timeline right side to Maya Fuller. Fuller down to the block for Hunter Caldwell. Caldwell pivots and has it ripped out of her hands by Morgan Wall. So Ames back the other way. Panconan into the front court. Throw it right side for Percival. Percival around a pick. Tried to do a pick and roll and threw it out of bounds over the head of Abby McGuire. Someone has it back. No score. 40 seconds gone. Opening quarter. Ames a little bit of pressure, inbounds comes to Heinbaugh. Dribbles across the timeline. Fell down, kept her dribble long enough to throw it to Kraus. Right side it goes now to Briley Yeager. Ames setting up in the zone. Yeager nearly lost it. Gets it left side up high to Kraus. Ames trying to trap out of that zone. Kraus bounce it left wing to Heinbaugh. Heinbaugh jump pass right wing back to Kraus. Shot fake, splits defenders, little runner, got it. Camden Kraus opens the scoring, 2 0 Bulldogs. Penn Conan, the 5'7 sophomore, brings it into the front court again for the Little Cyclones. Over to the right side, a handoff to Percival. Curls up top, a tumble's in a man-to-man. -man. Over to the left, kicks it over to Haley Percussion. Up top and kicks it back right side for Penn Conan. Penn Conan picked up a dribble, lob in the lane. Catch, turn around off the glass and good by Abby McGuire. That's one of the six-footers, ties the game at two. Inbounds to Heinballs again, they were pressuring Kraus. Now Riley gets it back to Camden, right back to Riley across the timeline. Riley backs away, gets it up top to Kraus. Left side to Heinball. Back up top to Jaeger. Back left side pass deflected, and Ames has a steal. Coming up with it was Precaution. Gets it up in the front court, left side to Panconan. Back up top to Precaution. Right side for Percival. Percival had it poked out of her hands, but a foul called on Otumwa. That'll be on Riley Heinball, her first. First foul of the game on either team. 5.56 opening quarter game tied at two. Percival will throw the inbounds pass right down below us. Throws it back towards midcourt for Pancone. Back right side to Percival. Driving down to the baseline. Got inside and laid it in as the help defense was late. Anissa Percival makes it 4-2 Ames. Inbounds pass stolen by Percival. Collision and a blocking foul she drove in. It's on Briley Yeager and Percival holding her arm as she hits the deck and is in some pain. Yeager with the foul, her first team foul number two. Percival says she's okay as she gets up. Someone's got to do a better job of inbounding against the press there. It'll be McGuire to throw the inbounds pass. A lob up top for Pancona. Thought about the back door to Percival, wasn't there. Goes right side for Precaution. She drives down to the baseline, gets underneath, cut off, throw it left corner for Pancona, out to the wing. Percival tries a three, no good. Rebound tapped out of the hands of Kraus, but run down by Heinbaugh. Here come the Bulldogs. Kraus hands it to Heinbaugh in the backcourt, poked out of her hands and out of bounds at midcourt. Riley saying, I got hit on the arm there. Riley probably wondering how she got called for a reach-in foul, and then she gets hit on the arm and there's no foul. Substitution for Ames here early. They take Percival out of the game and bring in Natalia Deerdorf, a 5'7 freshman. Now Kraus bounces left side for Jaeger. Riley penetrates to the baseline. Caldwell, Hunter's jumper is too strong. Rebound controlled on the floor by McGuire, but she traveled with it, and a tumble will get it back on the turnover. 5.08 first quarter, dogs down 4-2. Substitution of Tumwa, Nellie Morgan checking in, replacing Caldwell. Ye 
Jaeger to inbound from the baseline. Lobs it up high for Maya Fuller, who runs it down near midcourt. Gets it to Kraus on the right side. Kraus dribbles around a double team, feeds it to Heinball right wing. Heinball back in the corner for Kraus. Shot fake, now throw it up top to Jaeger. Riley right side back to Kraus, lines up a three. Off the rim, no. Rebound on the floor, Fuller's got it. And had it knocked out of her hands, it goes out of bounds into the Ames bench. It'll stay with the Tumwa. 447 first quarter, dogs down 4-2. Jaeger gets it in to Kraus right side. Back to Jaeger in the corner. Feeds it underneath to Morgan. Kicks it out to Kraus. Deflected. Has to run it down by the volleyball line. Camden picked up a dribble. Gets it back up top to Jaeger. Back to Camden left side. To the wing. Heinbaugh. Shot fake. Goes underneath for Fuller. Bounce across to Morgan. Tough catch in the lane. High off the glass. Got it to go. Nelly Morgan with the finish. And we're tied at four. Penn Conan. Over to the right side. A handoff to Deerdorf. Her pass deflected. Pancona gets it back, lobs it underneath. McGuire got loose and laid it in again. The loose ball got a Tumwa out of position defensively. McGuire's got her second bucket. Ames lead 6-4. Jaeger trapped in the backcourt. A lot of contact there. Finally, a foul called. Well, they were two players hacking at Briley Jaeger there in the trap. And they eventually called the a foul on precaution. First foul of the game on Ames. Ames will get Anisha Percival back into the game, replacing Deerdorf. Inbound to Kraus. Ames will look to trap again at midcourt. But Kraus splits it. Try to bounce it right side. Olivia Corm's in the game. She gathers it on the wing. Gets it back up high to Jaeger. Riley dribbles around. Two defenders knocked loose on the floor. McGuire picks it up for Ames. Atumwa turns it over again. Pan Conan into the front court. Left side for precaution. Dribbles up top, throws it right side for Percival. Shot fake, kicks it back to Penconen. Curls into the lane, got all the way through, but the layup at the bottom of the rim. Rebound tapped out, controlled by Kraus. Camden, cut off, gets it to Jaeger. Riley into the front court, crosses over, takes it down the lane right side, cut off, kicks it on the wing. Kraus for three, short, rebound, saved out to Corum. Skip it back to Kraus right wing, drives in, puts it up, draws the foul, and Camden Kraus will shoot two. 3-14 mark opening quarter. And that is the second foul on Haley Precaution. Only two fouls on Ames, both on the same player. Krause's first free throw, no good. Camden, 48% on the season from the line. Couple of subs for Ames. Deerdorf is back in. And checking in for the first time is Jada Britton, a 5'9 sophomore. One more free throw for Krause. Camden has this one go off the back iron. McGuire the rebound. Bulldogs still down two, 3.09 to go first quarter. McGuire attacking right side, throw it in the corner. Percival will try a three and hit it. Anissa Percival is a 29% three-point shooter. And Ames, who struggles to score, has a 9-4 lead. 2.54. Kraus dribbles through defenders up ahead to Jaeger into the front court. Briley drives in. Had it knocked out of her hands, it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tumwa. 2.47 opening quarter. Camden will trigger the inbounds pass. And a lob to the right wing for Corum. Olivia gets it up top to Heinball. Got away from Percival. Goes left corner. Kraus for three. Too strong, but underneath Morgan the rebound and the lay-in. She got shoved too. Should have been an and one, but Nellie Morgan will take the bucket. And it's 9-6. Well, Nelly got hit in the back as she went up with that, and the official swallowed the whistle. Percival left wing. Dribbles up top. Picked up her dribble. Under pressure from Corum. Trying to find someone to get it to. Finally, he gets it to Britton. Britton drives. Lost it on the floor. Picked it up. Double team. Throws it out. Rescued by Percival. Now McGuire. Right side, Deerdorf. And gets it to Pancona. Pancona curls to the free throw line. Gets it to McGuire. Long two-point jumper. No good. Rebound to Corum. Corum left side for Jaeger. Ames looks to trap again at midcourt. Jaeger, a lot of contact there. Gets around Deerdorf. Bounce it right wing to Camden Kraus. Kraus up top for Corum. Got around a defender. Goes left side. Riley Heinball for three. That's no good. Rebound on the weak side. Hit the leg of Percival and went out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Tumwa. 150 to go opening quarter. Substitution for Ames. 
Morgan Wall checks back in, replacing Abby McGuire. Jaeger looking, surveying, gets it right wing to Corum. Olivia tries a three, off the rim, no. Rebound underneath to Nellie Morgan, but taken out of her hands by Morgan Wall. Here comes Ames again. And Conan between the circles. Over to the right side, cut off, feeds it to Deerdorf. Natalia Deerdorf dribbles right. Lob on the pick and roll to Morgan Wall, who lays it in. And it's 11-6, and right now Tumble's not doing a good job of keeping the six-footers out of the lane. Krause, backcourt to Jaeger. Riley gets across the timeline, has it stripped and picked up by Percival. Now Pancona back the other way, doesn't have numbers. But Otomo left, oh, Otomo had left the backside open. Deerdorf was there. The pass was too high and out of bounds. Double substitution Otomo as Maya Fuller and Hunter Caldwell check back in. Jaeger and Heinbaugh sit. So Otomo is going a little bigger here with both Caldwell and Morgan on the floor. 1-11 to go first quarter. Otomo down five. Inbound to Kraus quickly to Fuller. Left side to Corum. Back to Kraus. Across the timeline. And... Lost it out of bounds on the far side. Boy, there is a lot of contact. Ames is really bodying Atumwa here, and they're getting away with it. And that time, Kraus was bodied right over to the sideline. The ball went out of bounds, no foul, and they give it back to the little Cyclones. Percival curls up top, throws it back right, low pass for Pancona, and rescues it. Dribbles down to the baseline, cut off, throw it back up top for Britton. Now underneath on the back door, and the layup is good by Deerdorf and a foul. Deardorf with a chance for a three-point play. This first quarter has gone sideways for Otomo. They're down 13 to six. Deardorf 0 for four from the free throw line on the season. And that one too strong, rebound to Fuller. Maya lob across the timeline for Kraus. Otomo's got numbers here. Kraus kicks it left side for Corum to Caldwell on the wing. Back up top to Fuller as Ames got back. Right side to Kraus, shot fake. Drives in and was fouled on the floor. 29.5 seconds to go. All right, foul on Jada Britton, her first. Team foul number three. Corum. Lobs it up high on the right side for Fuller. Down to Caldwell, back in the corner. Corum for three. Off the rim, no. Rebound underneath. Caldwell had a hand on it, couldn't control it. It's picked up by Wall, and here come the little Cyclones again. They can hold for one shot. Shot clock is off. 15 on the game clock. Left side for Deerdorf. Her pass to the corner. Knocked out of bounds by Morgan. Ames will inbound in front of the Atumwa bench. 11.4 seconds to go. 13-6 in favor of the home team here. Percival lobs it up top for Pancona. Into the high post for McGuire. Left wing over to Percival. Three on the way. Off the rim, no. Rebound to Kraus, got to go. Not going to get anything here. Time expires. 13-6, back in a minute on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. The secret is out. You're invited to see the all-new scoring system at Champion Bowl. The first bowling alley in Iowa to have the new Bowler Entertainment System. Animated and themed scoring grids and backgrounds. It keeps score for a variety of game types. There's classic bowling, of course, as well as Build the Monster, Bowling Hood, Battle of the Lanes, and more. You can also video chat with any of the staff right from your bowling station. Come experience the brand new Champion Bowl in Ottumwa, where bowling is now awesome. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people. People with goals. People who want to save more. People that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Start of the second quarter, Atumwa hoping the next eight minutes are better than the first eight. They trail Ames 13 to six in our girls game. Camden Kraus dribbles right, finds Corum into the high post for Caldwell, try to go down the lane, lost it on the floor. 
trying to find someone to get it to, and now we get a tie-up, and the possession arrow gives it right back to Ames. It's almost struggling with the length of Ames right now. They've not really been able to get into much offensively. Carson Panconan into the front court, right side for Deerdorf, into the corner for Britton, back to Deerdorf right wing. It's almost gone to a zone here. Lob deflected into the high post. McGuire's got it. Now her pass out tip. Percival rescues it. Goes right side to Deerdorf. Up top to Percival. Left side Panconan. Into the corner for Britton. Back up top for Deerdorf. Right side for Percival. Back to Deerdorf. Seven on the shot clock. Panconan trapped in the corner and Caldwell will get the tie up and get it right back to Atumwa. The only downside of that is there was only three seconds left on the shot clock. I think Atumwa was about to get the ball back anyway. They do get the ball, but they lose the possession arrow. Ames with that 1-2-2 two, two zone. Kraus, right side for Fuller. Bounce across the timeline, but stolen by Percival. Try to get to Caldwell in the center. Panconan. Up top to McGuire. She'll launch a three. No good. Off the glass. Rebound to Kraus. That was an ill-advised shot up ahead to Fuller. One-on-one -on -one with McGuire. Picked up her dribble. Kicks it back to Caldwell. Right wing to Corum. Down low, and McGuire intercepts that pass. Intended for Morgan. Tumwa turns it over again. Panconan lobs it right wing to Percival. Back up top, Panconan. She'll try top of the key three. Too strong. Long rebound, though, run down left side by Deerdorf. Goes it back to Panconan high on the left. Skip it right side. Kraus had the steal but couldn't control it. Percival picks it up. They go right corner for Britain to the wing, Percival. Up top, Panconan tries another three. Short, and the rebound to Kraus. And Kraus trying to get out of a double team, knocked on the floor, needs some help. Throws it ahead, picked off by Panconan. It's about four on one. Panconan, tough pass over to Deerdorf. Shot goes over the backboard and out of bounds. And somehow Atumwa gets it back without giving up a bucket. Oh, now they say that Atumwa deflected it out of bounds. One official said Atumwa ball, and then the other one said no Ames ball. Abby McGuire checking back in for Ames. Placing Britain. So both six-footers, McGuire and Wall, are back on the floor for the Little Cyclone. They lob it to Wall left wing, go in the corner for Percival, tries a three, off the rim, no, rebound to Kraus. Up ahead to Corum, quickly across the timeline before Ames can get set. Back to Kraus, dribbles right, picked up her dribble, bounce it up top to Fuller. Lob too tall for Caldwell, Atoma throws it away again. Now Ames back the other way, Panconan, right side for Deerdorf. Dry, drove in, cut off, kick it back to Panconan, back right wing, Deerdorf, she tries a three. That's an air ball, but McGuire caught the weak side, re or pardon me, Wall caught the weak side rebound and laid it in. 15 to six. That shot was so bad it turned into a pass. Tumwa down nine and in serious need of a little boost here. Long pass up ahead. Morgan rescues it right wing or left wing. Drives in right side of the lane all the way to the hoop. Laid it up. A lot of contact. No foul on the rebound to Percival. Back the other way is Panconan. Between the circles, right side for Percival. Skip it to Deerdorf, left side for Panconan. Back up top to Percival, or right side to Percival through Deerdorf. This three by Percival is good. 18 to six. Tumwa down 12. And it's a 10-0 run, and now nearly a steal by Deerdorf. She did steal it, but Kraus got it back. Now across the timeline, there's another steal by Ames. Atumwa just making some dumb passes, but Corum knocks it away. Fuller's got it back. Puts up a runner from behind the free throw line. No good, and the rebound to Ames. Atumwa's all out of sorts right now. Percival right wing. Up top for Panconan. Left wing Deerdorf. Her pass deflected, but rescued by Panconan. Right side Percival again. Back up top, Deerdorf, left wing Panconan. She tries a three, no good. And there's a foul going over the back on Morgan Wall. Good box out that time by Nellie Morgan. Wall gets her first, team foul number four. Riley Yeager, Riley Heinbaugh coming in for Atumwa. Jada Britton returning for Ames. Four nineteen to go until halftime. Atumwa still hasn't scored in the second quarter. They're down 12. Not what we were expecting, but this Ames pressure has really not allowed a Tumwa to even get any or many quality shots at all. Jaeger up high on the right side. They come and double team her. She needs some help again, but they're going to get a foul this time. As 
Carson Pancona gets called for her first, team foul number five. You could have twice as many fouls on Ames right now. Haley Precaution checks back in, now playing with two fouls. Ames is also going to bring in Sophia Hatcher, a 5'5 five five freshman, replacing Pancona. 4.04 on the clock. Yeager inbounds the, to the right corner for Kraus underneath to Morgan, kicks it out to Caldwell, who has to rescue it. Left side to Heinball. Riley drives in, little runner, way too strong. Rebound tapped out to Kraus, though. Camden in amongst the trees and got fouled on a reach in. That'll be the second foul on Jada Britton, team foul number six. Well, the next foul puts a tumble in the one and one. Yeager looking, throws it left corner. Heinball steps into a three. Got it! Riley Heinball with a three pointer brought to you by Marvin Boyer with Shelter Insurance in Atumwa. Or did they rule out a two? It's only 18 to eight. I swear that was a three, but I didn't see the official give the sign. Right side to Purse or to Hatcher underneath. And oh, Jaeger went for the steal and bounced off her own teammate. The ball went out of bounds. Briley rolling over in pain, but she gets up and she'll stay in. Apparently that was only a two. And now McGuire gets it in underneath the Percival. Short jumper in the lane, no good. Rebound to Heinball. Ball back to Jaeger, right side to Kraus. Kraus fell down on the dribble. Jaeger rescues the ball. Boy, they're hacking at her again. Gets it back to Kraus. Pulls up for a three right side, off the rim, no. Rebound out of bounds on the far side. Last touched by Ames. 3-10 to go until halftime. It's somewhere down 18-8. Jaeger to inbound. Gets it left wing to Kraus. Back in the corner, Jaeger's wide open for the three. No good, but the rebound to Morgan. Fouled as she goes back up, and Ellie Morgan will shoot two. And that is the third foul on Jada Britton. Team foul number seven. Morgan at the line, only 38% on the season. First one is up and good. 18 to 9. Akia Mosley, a 5 foot 9 senior, has checked in to replace Britton, who sits with three fouls. Second free throw good for Nellie Morgan. Got them both. That's good to see. 18 to 10. Dogs creeping back within eight. Now a tumble with some pressure. In the backcourt, precaution. Lob across the timeline. Hunter Caldwell's got the steal. Caldwell crosses over, beats two defenders all the way in. Lay it up. No. Rebound to precaution. And Jaeger went for the tie-up and got called for the foul. Riley's second, team foul number three on Atumwa. Make it four. Who's the other one on? Apparently there's one on Caldwell I didn't write down earlier. Into the front court, precaution right side. Tried to feed it to McGuire. Ball got knocked loose, tipped again. Now Heinbaugh's got it. Riley into the front court, doesn't have numbers, but it's going to attack Percival anyway, and Percival blocked the shot, and we'll get a tie-up underneath as Riley tried to get it back, but the arrow favors Ames. 2.30 left in the half. Atumwa again going to ratchet up the defensive pressure here. Precaution on the left side. Throws it right side to Percival. Back to Precaution, near midcourt. That's 10 seconds. That's 10 seconds. There's the call. I looked at the shot clock, and it was down to 25, and Atumwa does force a 10-second call. Percival didn't get across the timeline before the 10 seconds were up. Now Kraus left side to Heinbaugh to the corner, Jaeger. Jaeger dribbles, gets it back in the corner. Kraus got open for a three. Count it. Camden Kraus with the three-pointer brought to you by Marvin Boyer with Shelter Insurance in Atumwa. Dogs in the comeback trail, 18-13, down five. Two minutes to go until halftime. Percival across the timeline, timeout Ames. 157, we're back in 30 seconds on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. 
We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. You're watching the Ottumwa Out of the Ames timeout, Maya Full has checked it back in for a ton with three subs in for Ames. Penconen, Deerdorf, and Wall. Wall in the corner, throws it left side for Deerdorf. Skip it right side for Percival. Baseline drive, little runner left it short. Boy, McGuire leaned over everybody to get the rebound and lay it in, and there was a ton of contact there they didn't bother calling. She's got six points, 20 to 13 the score. Heinbaugh, skip it left side in the front court for Fuller. Lob underneath, tough catch by Morgan, tried to save it, could not. Out of bounds and back to Ames. You know, when, when a player leans over another player's back to grab a rebound, that other player gets doubled over. That should be a foul, except in the assessment of these officials. Fuller deflects a pass in the backcourt, but Pancona rescues it. Up ahead to McGuire, back to Percival right side, pulls up on the wing, up top Deerdorf, back to Percival. To the baseline, Wall, she'll try the jumper and short off the rim, rebound to Kraus. 108 to go until the half, a ton went down seven. Kraus, lob it across the timeline to Fuller left side. Fuller to the corner for Heinball, threw her hands and out of bounds. I think Riley was thinking about a shot or a pass before she secured the basketball. 59.5 seconds left in the half. McGuire checks out, Mosley back in. Was showing that 1 2 2 zone press. All right now, Fuller at the top of it. Deerdorf right side. Kraus knocks it away, saves it. Ball loose, diving to get it. Was Panconen, and then Heinbaugh is called for a foul, and that's the second one on Heinbaugh trying to get down on the floor to get that ball. It's only team foul number five on a ton. 49.7 seconds left until the half. Aims inbounding again. And Conan, left side, back to the center, Deerdorf, right side, Percival. Back to Deerdorf, up ahead to Panconen. Pass deflected, and Fuller's got the steal. Maya takes it down in traffic and got fouled trying to go up. Maya Fuller will shoot two. The Atoma press now starting to make life more difficult for the little Cyclones. Fuller at the line, five of eight on the season. 38 seconds left until halftime. First free throw. Good. Maya has her first point of the night, 20 to 14. Olivia Corum checks in, replacing Heinbaugh, who will sit with those two fouls. One more free throw for Maya Fuller. It's up. Too strong, and the rebound pulled in by Wall. About a two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Into the front court is Percival. Aims with the ball up six. Back to the volleyball line, Deerdorf into the high post for Mosley. Left wing for Panconen. Swing it around right side, Percival. Back to Deerdorf. Left side, Panconen. Dribbles down to the baseline. Bounce across to McGuire and the floater good. Or pardon me, Wall, the floater good. 22-14. Atumwa's got about 10 seconds here. Fuller to Corum. Olivia across the timeline to the center. Caldwell through her hands. Picked off by Mosley. Two seconds, one second. Half court at the buzzer. No good. Off the rim. At the half, it's Ames 22 and Ottumwa 14. Three minutes and we're back with a halftime show on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. Hey, it's Sam here, your Let's Go Sales Rep. Summertime weather is just around the corner, so you know the drill. Construction is in full swing, and we have limited time to get your order on the list for this year. As you're prioritizing your goals for 2022, let's make you the priority. We can chat details about what would make your home or business data connection the most successful. To add or update your services, call me, Samantha Newell, for your Let's Go Sales and Account Management. 641-209-5400-209-5400, or visit us at Lisco.com. 
It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. Hi, this is Vince Tyson, General Manager with Citizens Mutual in Bloomfield, the area's premier broadband provider. Buffalo County, we have heard your screams of frustration. You need reliable internet, and we are proud to expand high-speed fiber internet into Wapolo County. Express your interest today by going to findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. Again, that's findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. We look forward to hearing from you and bringing you the very best internet service at Citizens Mutual, coming soon to Wapolo County. County. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. the small town charm with real world experience at William Penn University. Located in beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, William Penn is the perfect place to pursue your higher education. We offer a diverse selection of majors including a four-year nursing degree and our state-of-the-art facilities offer the latest technology. With small class sizes and affordable tuition, William Penn is a great place to call home. Invest in your future at William Penn. Visit wmpenn.edu today to learn more and enroll. You're watching the Atumbo Bulldogs on the Atumbo Radio Group Sports Network. We are at halftime. Atumbo High Basketball, 1240 AM, 102.7 FM, KBIZ. Live video on the Atumbo Radio Group Facebook page. Tough first half of your Tumwa girls, kind of surprising. They trail these struggling Ames Little Cyclones. It's Ames 22 and Tumwa 14. Our halftime stats are brought to you by Sonic Drive-In on North 63 in Tumwa. For the Bulldogs, Nellie Morgan leads OHS with six points. Camden Kraus has five. Riley Heinbaugh has two, and Maya Fuller has one point. For Ames, Anissa Percival has eight points. Morgan Wall has six. Abby McGuire has six, and Natalia Deerdorf has two. Free throws, it's with three of six from the line in the first half. Ames was just 0 for 1. And foul trouble. Jada Britton off the bench for Ames has three fouls. Haley Precaution, one of their starters, has two. For Atumwa, Riley Heinbaugh and Riley Yeager each have two fouls. A lot of turnovers in that first half. Ames came out pressing and trapping. And Atumwa really had a hard time dealing with that most of the half. Now, late in the half, Atumwa started pressing themselves, and that gave Ames some trouble. So we may see more of that from OHS in the second half. The Bulldogs have to find a way to execute offensively. Ames is really getting right up in their grill. Really, there's a lot of contact on these double teams and these traps. And quite frankly, there should have been a few more fouls called than there were. There were more fouls called on Ames than on Atumwa, but the Bulldogs are going to have to be quick without hurrying, if that makes sense. They, they need to be quicker to get the ball moving before the double team arrives so they can't rush things and be throwing the ball away, which is something that happened to them quite a bit in the first half. By the way, as we await the start of the second half here, Annie, let's turn this camera over there. They have lowered one of the baskets, the basket to our left, and their athletic director, Lyle Fetters, is working on something right now, not sure what. Hopefully that's something that can be fixed quickly and we won't have a delay before the start of the second half. We already tipped this game off about 35, 40 minutes late because the JV game went overtime. So we're looking at another late night here, although thankfully we're just in Ames. Well, I don't know, it's maybe about the same distance to Burlington from Ottumwa as it is to Ames from Ottumwa, so. At any rate, Ottumwa down 22 to 14 at the half. Let's take a three-minute timeout, come back, and get you ready for the second half. Hopefully the basket will be ready on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, 
we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. Wondering what to have for lunch or supper? Stop in and see Mike and his team at Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse. Whether you want amazing Greek food, pasta, salads, sandwiches, fish, chicken, steak, or the best pizza in town, they have what you want. They are always open for carryout, and their full menu is available at mikespizzasteakhouse.com. Thank you, Southern Iowa, for making Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse your favorite restaurant and your favorite pizza place. Proud to support the Ottumwa Bulldogs. Opa! Are you looking for someone to capture the special moments in life, such as senior photos, weddings, timely portraits, baby pictures, or even your furry friends? Look no further than Lee's Photography in Ottumwa to schedule your appointment. Brian, Connie, and the staff at Lee's Photography have the knowledge and experience to capture your special moments and make your vision come to life. Visit them on Facebook to see the range of their work. Lee's Photography on East 2nd Street, across from The Courier in Ottumwa. For all your all-around photography needs. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. Roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684 1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Tumwa High Basketball brought to you by Bridge City Realty. Whether you're looking to buy your next home or sell your current property, they'll be with you every step of the way. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's trusted experts. By Community First Credit Union, because together is better. Check them out at cfirstcreditunion.com. And by William Penn University's Iowa Pride Scholarship, geared towards high school seniors. Learn how you can pay $7,000 or less per year. Visit wmpenn.edu slash iowapride to find out more. About ready to start the second half. But Tumwa girls trailing Ames 22 to 14. They did finish uh, working on whatever issue they had with the basket. Appeared to be something to do with the uh, shot clock that's perched above the basket. Ames has something you don't often find in a high school gym. They have uh, baskets with supports on the floor. And it's a hydraulic thing that can lower that basket down towards the floor. Usually, of course, gyms have baskets that are attached to the ceiling, and they have those for the side courts here when they're having practice. But their college hoop or their their uh, main hoops are kind of a, almost a college feel with the brand new gym, and of course, being in the same town as Iowa State. I'm not surprised that Ames has some high quality equipment when it comes to their new gymnasium. All right, it'll be Camden Krause, Briley Yeager, Riley Heinbaugh, Maya Fuller, Hunter Caldwell on the floor for Atumwa. Precaution, Percival, Panconan, Wall, and McGuire for Ames. 
Hager throws it inbounds to Camden Kraus. Satoma moving left to right as we look at it here in the second half. Jaeger back right side to Kraus. Back up top to Jaeger. Bounce it right side back to Kraus. Shot fake and a drive. Boy, bumped by Percival. They don't bother calling that. Up top to Jaeger. Open for a three. Off the rim, no. And the rebound to Wall. Panconen right side to Precaution across the timeline. Back up top, Panconen. Left side, Percival. It's almost in a zone. Percival dribbles up top. Goes right side to Precaution. Out of the wing for Panconen. Down to the baseline, knocked away and stolen by Briley Yeager. So it's almost forces another Ames turnover. Precaution nearly took it back. Yeager's got to get going here. And now Precaution called for the foul, and that'll be her third. Again, Ames has been overly aggressive in this game. And Haley Precaution, who had to leave the game in the first half with two early fouls, picks up an early third foul here. Inbound from the sideline to Kraus, back to Yeager. Skip it left side for Heimbaugh to get across the timeline. Heinbaugh pressured by Pancona, gets it in the corner to Caldwell. Hunter trying to split defenders, knocked away, Fuller rescues it, up top to Jaeger. Jaeger, right side for Kraus. Kraus got a rounded defender, knocked away, Caldwell has it left side of the lane, turn around off the glass, couldn't get it to go, rebound to McGuire, or pardon me, to Wall. One of the six footers. Now Pancona left side to Percival. Back right side for Pancona up high to the wing, and Jaeger went for a steal, Precaution dropped the ball, and it's picked up by Fuller. Over to Kraus. Kraus in the backcourt. Left side to Fuller. To the wing, Jaeger. To the corner, Heinbaugh. Three on the way. Count it. Riley Heinbaugh with the three-pointer. Brought to you by Marvin Boyer with Shelter Insurance in Ottumwa. Dogs within five, 22-17. Left side, Percival up high. Skip it right side for Panconan. To the wing, Precaution. Skip it up top, Percival. Back up high, right side, Panconan. Left wing, and Wall will launch a three, high off the glass, no good. Rebound to Heinbaugh, who controls it into the front court, left side. Trying to drive all the way in, puts it up high off the glass, no good. A lot of contact, no call either way, rebound to Wall. Boy, Heinbaugh there went in amongst the trees. No fear there, but maybe not the best decision. Percival left side, up top, through the hands of Panconen, rescues it, goes high on the right side to Precaution. Back up top, Panconen. Bob into the lane for McGuire. Turn around to the baseline for Wall. Her jumper good. Morgan Wall has eight points. 24-17. Ames back up by seven. Ball goes left side for Heinbaugh. Across the timeline. Trap comes. Heinbaugh got herself in trouble. Knocked out of her hands and out of bounds. It'll stay with the tumble. Substitution for the Little Cyclones. Natalia Deerdorf back in, replacing Precaution. Jaeger to inbound, goes left corner for Kraus, dribbles in, gets it underneath the Caldwell, feeds across the lane to Heinbaugh, out to the right corner for Fuller, shot fake and a drive, puts up a runner, left it short, rebound to McGuire. Panconen, long pass into the front court for Percival, back up top Panconen, right side Deerdorf, back to Panconen, left side Percival, takes the three, off the rim, no. Box out by Kraus, but the rebound underneath picked up by Deerdorf. Missed the shot and the rebound to Jaeger. Jaeger on a Caldwell pick. It's a left side to Kraus. Kraus and a reach in foul as she crossed the timeline. That'll be on Percival. That's her first. Don't know how many times Kraus was going to have to absorb contact before they actually called it. Nellie Morgan back in for Atumwa, replacing Caldwell. 4.50 to go third quarter. Atumwa still down 24-17. Inbound to Kraus. Ames in that zone looking to trap. Up top to Jaeger. 1-2-2 two, two zone for the Little Cyclones. Back to Kraus right side. Back to Jaeger. Into the high post for Fuller. Left corner. Heinbaugh. Another three on the way. That one short. Rebound tapped out of bounds. It'll stay with Atumwa, though. 4.35 to go in the third quarter. Boy, if Atumwa could just... Get a few shots to fall here. Kraus lobs it right side for Heinbaugh, up top to Fuller. Left corner for Kraus. Back left wing to Fuller. Fuller dribbles in, jumper short. Rebound to Ames. I don't know how that ball was that short. It was an air ball well short. I thought she got hit on the arm, no call. Right side to Deerdorf for Ames in the front court. Into the corner, Jaeger nearly had another steal, knocked it out of bounds. Substitution to Tumwa. Olivia Corum checks in, replacing Maya Fuller. And 
Percival will inbound in front of her own bench. Bobs it up high to Panconan. Brings it between the circles. Right side back to Percival. Underneath to a cutting McGuire. Turn around off the glass and it rolls in. Eight for Abby McGuire and aims up nine again, 26-17. Pine ball right side. Skip it left side back to Krause across the timeline. To the top of the key, Corum underneath to Morgan. Lay it up, no, but she's fouled and Nellie Morgan will shoot two. Tumba did a good job breaking the press that time. Abby McGuire only her first. Team foul number three and a half on the Little Cyclones. 3.52 to go in the third. Morgan at the line, two for two on the night. And rattles that one home, make it three for three. Nelly has a team high seven points. 26-18. One more free throw for Morgan. And she got them both. Morgan with eight, 26-19, dogs back within seven. A Tumwa now with pressure. McGuire dribbles right, lost it, loose on the floor, picked up by Jaeger. Doesn't have numbers. Wisely picked it up, goes left side for Corm in the corner, Heinbaugh. Another look at a three. Off the rim, no. Morgan the rebound. Kicks it out to Kraus on the right wing. Dribbles back in, gets it to Nelly in the corner. Baseline drive, cut off, kick it left corner. Heinbaugh rescues it. Skip it up top. Tough catch, Jaeger down the lane, off the glass. No, rebound in the lane. Corum the putback, good. Olivia Corum with a bucket. Second chance, third chances for the dogs. 26-21, a tumble back within five. Penconan in the backcourt to the center, Deerdorf. Right side, Percival. That's 10 seconds again. There's the call. Second time Atum was forced to 10 second call. 3.09 to go. Dogs get it right back. Camden Krause across the timeline. Left side for Heinball. In the corner, Jaeger. Attacks. Now kicks it back in the corner for Krause for three. Off the back iron. No. Weak side rebound to Corum. Kicks it out to Heinball. To Jaeger. Riley back to Heinball right side. To the corner for Corum. Underneath to a wide open Nelly Morgan. Layup good. Morgan's got 10. Dogs within three. 26 23. Inbound to Panconan. Tomo again showing the pressure. Back to Deerdorf. Back to Panconan. Back to Deerdorf. Deerdorf racing across the timeline now and a timeout of Tomo. Dogs within three. Back in 30 seconds on the Tomo Radio Sports Network. Get the small town charm with real world experience at William Penn University. Located in beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, William Penn is the perfect place to pursue your higher education. We offer a diverse selection of majors, including a four year nursing degree. And our state of the art facilities offer the latest technology. With small class sizes and affordable tuition, William Penn is a great place to call home. Invest in your future at William Penn. Visit wmpenn.edu today to learn more and enroll. You're watching the Assemble Bulldogs on the Assemble Radio Group Sports Network. Atumwa High Basketball brought to you by Reflection Studio next to New Care Pharmacy in downtown Atumwa. Looking good doesn't happen by chance. It happens by appointment with Reflection Studio in Atumwa. And by Mercy One Atomwa Family and Internal Medicine Clinic, your local pediatric provider. Mercy One Atomwa, your best life, our one purpose. Visit mercyone.org. 2.34 to go third quarter. Ames 26 at 23. Dogs were down eight at the half. They've cut that down to three. Ames inbounding after using their second timeout. Carson Panconan, right side to Deerdorf. Back to the corner, Panconan. Back to Deerdorf. Tomwa collapsing underneath. Back in the corner, Panconan. Back to Deerdorf. Skip it left side for Anissa Percival. Back to Pan or Deerdorf. Right side Panconan in the corner. McGuire will just force up a three off the rim. No. Rebound to Corm. That's what Atomo wants. Those six footers taking three pointers. Now Kraus. Lob across the timeline. Right side for Jaeger. Up top to Kraus. Left side to Corum. Corum curls up top in the dribble. Throw it right corner for Heinbaugh. Shot fake. Gets it to Kraus on the wing. 16 on the shot clock. Kraus in the lane. Puts up a shot and draws the foul. And Camden Kraus will shoot two. That foul is on Natalia Deerdorf her first. Team foul number four on the Little Cyclones. Kraus at the line 0 for 2 on the night. Her first one here, too strong. That's the one area of Camden's game where she would like to improve. 
has struggled from the free throw line in her first two seasons. The sophomore second free throw, no good, and the rebound to McGuire. Missed opportunity there for Itzoma, could have cut it to one. Percival left wing, up top for Deerdorf. Into the high post, Jaeger knocked it away, Deerdorf got it back. Left wing to Percival, back to Deerdorf, right side Panconen. Back to Deerdorf. Left side, Percival. Back up top, Panconen. Right side now to Deerdorf. Back to Panconen. Top of the key, three. Got it. Carson Panconen, 32% from three-point range. That's her first bucket tonight. Ames leads 29-23. Across the timeline, Kraus to Jaeger. Jaeger underneath to Morgan. Put it up high off the glass. Couldn't get the roll. Rebound to McGuire. Into the front court, Panconen. Right side for Deerdorf. Back to Panconen. Skip it left corner to Wall. Swing it back up top. And now right side Deerdorf. Back up top Panconen. She'll try another three. Left that one short. And the rebound tapped out of bounds. Last touch by Ames. It'll come back to a tunnel. 53.9 to go in the third. Hunter Caldwell back for the Bulldogs. Haley Precaution back for Ames. Precaution playing with three fouls. Jaeger inbounds to Kraus on the right as Ames sets up that zone press. Skip it left side for Heinbaugh. Dribbles across the timeline. Around a defender, down towards the baseline, cut off. Skips it right side for Kraus. Camden a baseline drive under the hoop. Tried to kick it out. Heinbaugh rescues it. Up top to Jaeger. Jaeger cut off. Double team to the top of the key. And gets it to Caldwell left side. And Atumwa takes a timeout. Their first of the game. We're back in 30 seconds on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. Hi everyone, this is Karina Drummond with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. We are a full service salon offering hair, nail, brow, lash, facial, and waxing services. We also handle weddings, proms, and other large events with multiple person makeover sessions. So contact us early to get booked for your next event. We thank all of our loyal customers for your patronage and invite all newcomers to join our salon family. And remember, looking good doesn't happen by chance. It happens by appointment with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. Like Reflection Studio on Facebook and visit ReflectionStudio.com. That's Reflections with a Z. Out of the timeout, Otomo's got 12 on the shot clock. Inbound to Kraus, right side. Down to 10. Right side to Heinbaugh in the corner for Jaeger. Down to 7. Riley baseline drive, kick it left corner. Caldwell for 3. Had a foot on the line, it was a 2. Missed it. Rebound to Wall. Ames can hold for the final shot. 15 seconds on the game clock. High on the right side, Precaution. Skip it left side, Percival. Back up top, Panconen. Right side for Precaution. Tries a 3, left it well short. Rebound to Caldwell, 3 seconds. And Atumwa threw it out of bounds, and so Ames has it with 1.2. Boy, Atumwa, if you're Atumwa here, I think you got to clog the lane. Don't let him get a lob underneath. Ames is going to start with everybody up high on this inbounds play. Percival looking, throws it up top, Panconen, forces a three, blocked by Heinbaugh. 29-23, back in a minute on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. Start of the fourth quarter, Atumwa girls trailing Ames 29-23. Little Cyclones with the ball, and not anymore as the pass 
through the hands of Haley Precaution out of bounds into the Ames bench. Ames an unforced turnover and it's almost gets it back down six. But if the Bulldogs could ever just string two or three buckets together, really put some pressure on Ames. Right side is Heinbaugh, skip it left side for Jaeger into the front court. Dribbles up top, lobs it right side for Riley. Long two point jumper on the way, no. Kraus the weak side rebound, triple teamed underneath. Got it to Morgan, lay it up, no, but she's fouled and Nellie Morgan back to the line to shoot two. Is that foul on McGuire or Wall? It is on Morgan Wall, her second. Team foul number five on Ames. Morgan at the line. First one here, missed it. That's her first miss of the night. She's four for five. Nelly has a team high 10 points. One more for the sophomore. Puts it up, well, left it short, rebound to Wall. You wonder if fatigue is a factor for Otomo. They played last night. Ames hadn't played since last Thursday. Ames up six with the ball. Precaution. Skip it left side, Percival. Back up top, Precaution. Back to Percival. Underneath, knocked away from McGuire. Precaution rescues it left side. Gets it up high to Percival. Now up top to Panconan. Carson Panconan. Dribbling, waiting, gets it right side to Precaution. Into the corner, Panconan. Lob underneath, and Fuller knocked it out of bounds for Atoma. Atoma really sagging in on the post. They do not want Ames to get it down low. For the most part, that has worked in the last two quarters defensively. Percival to inbound. Lobs it up top for Panconan. Three on the shot clock. I'm not sure they know. Precaution throws it at the rim, but she's out of time, and that is a shot clock violation. It's on with the good defense. Now can they get some offense going here? Hager inbounds to Heinbaugh on the left. Back to Briley. Right side to Kraus. Let's give it left side for Heinbaugh into the front court. Briley hands it back to Jaeger. Briley comes and hands it to Kraus behind the volleyball line. Left side for Heinbaugh. Let's give it right side for Kraus. Dribbles in, pull up jumper, it's off, no good. The rebound though, knocked out of bounds by Pancona and it'll stay with the Tumwa. The ball did not hit the rim, 13 on the shot clock. Sub for Ames. Jada Britton will check back in, replacing Morgan Wall. So Ames gets a little smaller there. Jaeger inbound, goes right corner for Fuller, wide open for a three, off the rim, no. Rebound tapped, it's loose on the floor. We're going to get a held ball, and the arrow will keep it with a Tumwa. Kraus helping Precaution up. They rolled over together with the ball, and Precaution might have bumped her head a little bit. Looks like she's okay. Jaeger to throw the inbounds pass. Throws it left corner for Kraus. Camden drives in. Tried to put up the runner. A lot of contact. No foul. How was that not a foul? Her arm got knocked sideways. The ball went sideways. Ames ends up with it. They go high post for McGuire. Dribbles. Lost it on the floor. Tumwa gets it back. There's a little justice. Fuller into the front court. Slows it up. Gets it to Jaeger. 6.09 to go. Tumwa still down six. Kraus. Dribbles back between the circles. Throws it back to the right, intended for Heimbaugh, deflected out of bounds by Percival. Morgan Wall coming right back in for Ames, replacing Abby McGuire. Jaeger will inbound from the sideline here, opposite her own bench. Goes right corner for Kraus to the wing, Jaeger. Up top, Fuller. Left side, Heimbaugh. Shot fake. Tried to drive in, and that time there's a foul called. Will that be on the floor or shooting? Say it's on the floor. It is the fourth foul on Jada Britton. Team foul number six, so the next foul puts a tumble on the bonus. Inbound right corner, Kraus, a look at a three. Off the rim, no. Rebound tipped to Wall. Tumble's had a few good looks that haven't gone down tonight, and you wonder if shooting this new gym is throwing their perception off a little bit. Panconan up top. Nobody scored in this fourth quarter. There's five and a half to go. Heinbaugh nearly had a seal. It goes right side for Panconan. In the corner, Britton will try a three off the top of the backboard. It ricochets out to Panconan. She drives in, fed it underneath, and Wall missed the layup. Got her own rebound, 
and fell down as called for traveling. Yeager had hit the deck already as Wall ran into her. That wasn't called a foul, but then Wall fell down on a travels call. 5.22 to go in the fourth. Still 29-23. Inbound to Kraus. Walks it up ahead. Back to Yeager. Back to Kraus and across the timeline. Splits defenders. Bounce it right side for Heinbaugh. Back to the wing for Kraus. Up top, Yeager. Riley, right handed drive into the lane. The little runner couldn't get it to go. Skied for her own rebound, but they call her for the foul. Okay, if, if that's displacement, then, then fine, that's a foul. But Abby McGuire did that to an Ottumwa player in the first half, and it wasn't called. Same thing. Third foul on Jaeger, first foul of the half on Ottumwa. Timeout aims. We're back in 30 on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Hi, this is Lisa Bittner, clinic manager at Mercy One Atoma Family and Internal Medicine Clinic. We specialize in geriatrics, internal medicine, family practice, and we see patients of all ages. We have an entire pediatrics team ready to serve you year-round. We also have quick care walk-in available Monday through Friday from 7 to 5. From babies to grandparents and everything in between, we are here for you at Mercy One Atoma Family and Internal Medicine Clinic. Your best life, our one purpose. Visit mercyone.org. You're watching the Radio 5.02 to go as Ames inbounds after using their third timeout. They lead 29-23. Neither team has scored in this fourth quarter. First of all in the backcourt. Just does get across the timeline but runs over Kraus and that's an offensive foul. Second foul on Anissa Percival. Team foul number seven, but no free throws on an offensive foul. Abby McGuire checking back in for Ames, replacing Jada Britton, who will sit with four fouls. Boy, it's almost got to get a bucket here. I see the ball go through the basket somehow. Left side, Heinball. In the corner, Jaeger. Dribbles in, goes back in the corner for Kraus. Kraus drives in, feeds it underneath to Morgan. Feed across to Heinbaugh, short jumper. Couldn't get it to go. Morgan the rebound, fouled on the putback. Nelly will shoot two. Nelly going to the line where she's four of six on the night. The foul was the third on Morgan Wall. Team foul number eight. Nelly's first one this time, short, man. Elliot made her first four, but she's missed three in a row. Still a six-point game. Second free throw. Got the roll. Well, somebody's finally scored in the fourth. The Tum was within five, 29-24. Bulldogs with pressure. Van Conan up top. Over to the right. Bob to the center. McGuire, tough catch. Gets it to Percival across the timeline left side. Percival feeds it to Van Conan between the circles. To the high post, McGuire. Kick it out right side, precaution. Back up top, Panconen for three. Got it. That is a dagger by Carson Panconen. Her second three of the half, 32-24. It's almost suddenly down eight. Into the front court, Heinball left side to the free throw line, Fuller. Back to Heinball on the left. Drives in, puts up a tough runner. Too strong. Morgan, the weak side rebound, tips it to Jaeger in the corner on the right. Riley back underneath for Morgan, and she got bumped from behind by McGuire. That'll be the second on Abby McGuire, team foul number nine. And Nellie Morgan back to the line, this time for a one and one. 3.50 to go. Subs for both teams, Hunter Caldwell in for the Bulldogs. Jada Britton back in for Ames. Fuller will sit for a tumble. Morgan Wall heads to the bench for the little Cyclones. Morgan's got to hit the first one or in the second, and it rattles out no good. McGuire's got the rebound. Still 32-24. Left side, the ball goes to Percival. In the corner to Britton. Skip it up top for a precaution. Right side, Panconan. Three and a half to go. High post, McGuire drives down the lane, kick it out. Panconan another three, and she got it, and that's killing it someone now. Carson Panconan has hit three three-pointers in the second half, and Ames leads 35-24. Heinball left side across the timeline. Back up top to Jaeger. Right side for Kraus. Kraus back to Jaeger. 
Back to Krause on the right. Camden drives in, puts up the runner. Baseline got it. Camden Krause has seven. Bulldogs had their first field goal of the fourth quarter, 35-26. Lob across the timeline for caution. It's almost got to ratchet up the pressure here, and Morgan with a bump foul there. That's her first. Only team foul number two of the half here. Boy, if you're a Tumwa here, you might want to give a few fouls in succession here because you may eventually want to get the little Cyclones to the free throw line. Just make sure whoever is giving the fouls has enough to give. Panconan right side Percival. Up top Panconan. High post. McGuire underneath to Britton. Kick it out to Percival. Her three on the way. Too strong. And the rebound to Kraus. Dogs got to go. Down nine. 235 to go. Kraus around a couple defenders. Right side all the way in. Tried to feed it to Morgan and lane ball loose on the floor. But someone grabbed it and got a timeout. 229 to go. We're back in 30 seconds on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people. People with goals. People who want to save more. People that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. You're watching the Atumwa Bulldogs on the Atumwa Radio Group Sports Network. Atumwa High Basketball brought to you by Roto-Rooter on Gateway Drive for 24-7 emergency plumbing services, including nights, holidays, and weekends. Roto-Rooter Atumwa, your specialists in plumbing and water cleanup. And by Family First Chiropractic on West 2nd Street Atumwa, delivering an elevated level of holistic care for the entire family, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure their clients receive the best results as fast as possible. 2.29 to go, Atumwa inbounding, trailing Ames 35-26 in our girls' game. Not what we expected tonight. Jaeger trying to get it in. Lobs it up top for Caldwell. Right side for Heinbaugh. Three on the way. Off the rim, no. Rebound ricochets out to Kraus. Takes it around right side. Under the hoop. Tried to go reverse layup. Had it blocked. Rebound to Percival. Ball knocked loose, but Panconan rescues it. Into the front court right side for Caution. Back up top to Panconan. Left side Percival. 2.10 to go. Panconan right side for Caution. Back to Panconan, another three on the way. That one's short, but the long rebound all the way out to Precaution, and that resets the shot clock with two minutes to go. In the corner to Britton, up top Panconan. Right side, Precaution, baseline drive, put up a tough runner and got it. Hey. Haley, Precaution's first bucket might have been the final nail in a tumble's coffin, 37-26. Jaeger, long pass into the front court, left side, Heinbaugh. Riley backs away. Into the high post, Caldwell down the lane, laid it up, no. Rebound to Morgan underneath, kick it out to Heinball. Left side, Jaeger. She drives in, lost it, got it back. Turn around in the lane, quadruple teamed, out to Kraus. Three on the way, count it. Camden Kraus at the three-pointer, brought to you by Marvin Boyer with shelter insurance in Ottumwa. Timeout, Ottumwa, 127 to go. Dogs down eight, back in 30 on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Hey, nice job clearing the clog. Thanks. You know anybody who could repair the water damage in my basement? Roto-Rooter does that. Do you guys fix water heaters? Roto-Rooter does that. How about a leaky faucet? We do that. Disposal repair? We do that. I've got to run a few errands, but if you could finish up those pies, that'd be great. Thanks. And away go troubles down the drain. Pies? Okay. You're watching the Atumbo Bulldogs on the Atumbo Radio Group Sports Network. Out of the timeout, minute 27 to go. It's Tumwa down eight. They set up the press as Ames looks to inbound. 37-29. Inbound is loose. Panconan tried to pick it up. Heinball was diving for it, and they're going to get a foul on Riley. That's her third. It's only team foul number three on a Tumwa this half. Sub for Ames. Natalia Deerdorf will check back in, replacing Haley Precaution. And it'll be Deerdorf to throw the inbounds pass. So 
They're trying to get it in. Got it into Panconan. Racing left. Someone trying to trap. Back to Deerdorf. Right side Percival. And the foul on Atumwa here. And that's the fourth one on Jaeger. I, I don't mind the fouls because Atumwa's got to commit three more just to get him into the one and one But you don't want it to be Jaeger again or she'll foul out. Deardorff trying to get it in, finally gets to Panconan in the front court. Atomo might want to foul here. Panconan into the corner, threw it away. It's, oh, it's almost intercepted by Krause. You just couldn't hang on to it. It fell out of bounds. That would have been a break for OHS. I think you're down eight with a minute 11 to go. Atomo can't afford to defend here. They've got to give three more fouls, I would think. Inbound Panconan. You don't want Jaeger to be the one to give it. There's Deardorf. Back up top, Panconan, right side, Percival. It's almost not trying to foul. Down to the baseline for Britton, and Heinbaugh steals the pass. That works. Heinbaugh's one-on-one with Panconan, put it up off the glass, couldn't get it to go. Rebound, though, to Morgan, and, oh, they're going to call a tie-up. Deerdorf was trying to tie her up and hook the arm. The arrow will give it back to Ames. Deardorff hooked the arm of Morgan from the side, and they called a tie-up. So Ames inbounding, 53.4 seconds to go. Inbound to Panconan. Over to Deardorff. Up ahead to Percival, nearly lost it. Gets across the timeline. Jaeger knocks the ball away. Briley's got a steal. Back the other way. Dog short on time. Briley all the way in. Eurostep layup, no. Rebound to Pancona. Long pass up ahead to Percival. Cut off by Kraus. Pulls up for a jumper. That's not wise. Missed it. The rebound to Deerdorf, and they call a held ball on the other end. The arrow will give it back to Atumwa, but only 30 seconds to go, still down eight. And Atumwa will find a way to get eight points in 30 seconds. We've got two timeouts if we can hit buckets, but Atumwa's got to go. Kraus, left side to Heinbach, across the timeline. Can't dawdle now. Up top to Jaeger, right side to Krause. She's open for a three. Count it. Timeout of Tumwa. Another three brought to you by Marvin Boyer with Shelter Insurance in Atumwa, 37-32, 17.5 on the clock. Back in 30 seconds on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier, together. So let's get to know each other, because together is better. High Basketball brought to you by Lee's Photography in Atomo, capturing all the special moments in your life, such as weddings, sports, senior photos, family portraits, and more. Lee's Photography on East 2nd Street across from the Courier in Atomo, capturing memories to last a lifetime. And by Mike and the team at Mike's Pizza, Atomo's favorite place to eat. 17.5 seconds to go, Ames 37, Atomo 32. Bulldogs have one timeout left. Atomo still has to give three fouls to put Ames in the one and one. Deardorf trying to get it in. Got it into Panconan. I'd give a foul, and Heinbaugh does. That's the fourth one on Riley Heinbaugh, team foul number five. Two seconds went off the clock there. Boy, someone's got to give two more fouls, but they've got Jaeger and Heinbaugh there. They both have four, so they're at risk of fouling out. Inbound up ahead to Britton, back to... Panconan and Heinbaugh had to give the foul and she's fouled out of the game. Caldwell was up there on Britain. Caldwell probably should have given the foul there on the initial catch. And said Heinbaugh will foul out with five points. At the 13 second mark of the fourth quarter. Well, the next Atumwa foul will send Ames to the line. Get it into Panconan, and Jaeger's got to give it, and she'll foul out. Kraus maybe should have gone, but Briley Jaeger just fouled out. 
And it's team foul number seven. Jaeger fouls out at the 10.8 mark. So Corum is in for Jaeger. Fuller had come in for Heinbach. Panconen at the line is 60%, so that's who they won at the line compared to their other guards. One and one here, 10.8 to go. First free throw. It's no good. Got to get the rebound. Caldwell's got it. You got to go. You got to go. It's almost down five. They need two buckets. Long pass up ahead to Krause right side. Drives in. Puts up the jumper off the top of the glass. No. Fuller's put back no as time expires in the final. Ames 37. And it's home with 32. Disappointing night for Otumwa. Team they probably felt like they should have beaten. And instead, Otumwa drops to four and five on the season while Ames improves to four and six. We'll take three minutes, come back, and get you the totals on the Otumwa Radio Sports Network. At Family First Chiropractic, it is our goal to get you and your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for the rest of your life. We deliver an elevated level of care for the entire family. We approach healthcare from a holistic view, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure that our patients achieve the best results as fast as possible. We believe you deserve the best. A little preventative care now will eliminate pain management in later years. We want our kids to grow and live an active, healthy lifestyle. Get your family checked at Family First Chiropractic. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. The secret is out. You're invited to see the all-new scoring system at Champion Bowl. The first bowling alley in Iowa to have the new Bowler Entertainment System. Animated and themed scoring grids and backgrounds. It keeps score for a variety of game types. There's classic bowling, of course, as well as Build the Monster, Bowling Hood, Battle of the Lanes, and more. You can also video chat with any of the staff right from your bowling station. Come experience the brand new Champion Bowl in Ottumwa, where bowling is now awesome. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Ottumwa High Basketball, 12.40 a.m., 102.7 FM, KBIZ, live video on the Ottumwa Radio Group Facebook page. Our girls' game in the book here in Ames tonight, and Ottumwa falls to the Little Cyclones in girls' basketball, 37-32. Scoring for Ottumwa, Camden Kraus got hot late and led Ottumwa with 13. Nellie Morgan had 11, five points for Riley Heinbaugh, two for Olivia Corum, and one point for Maya Fuller. For Ames, they were led by Carson Pancona, who had nine points all in the second half on three critical three-pointers, two of them in the fourth quarter. Eight points for Anissa Percival, eight for Morgan Wall, eight for Abby McGuire, 
Two points for Natalia Deerdorf and two points for Haley Precaution. Free throw shooting in the game. Ames only took two free throws and missed them both. Otumwa was six of 14 from the free throw line and that has to sting as Otumwa missed eight free throws in a game which they lost by five. Bulldogs struggled all night with the pressure of Ames. Never did have a quarter where they scored in double digits and they gave up 13 in the first quarter. That really ended up being the difference. Otumwa down seven at the end of the first quarter ended up losing the game by five. They were down as many as 12 in the first half, cut it to three in the third quarter, got down 11 again in the fourth quarter, cut that down to five, but could not get any closer. 37-32 the final score, and Atoma will try to regroup for Friday night at home against Ames. We'll see if uh, Coach Vandenberg will make it up here to talk about the game in just a few minutes. Right now we'll take a three-minute timeout and return on the Atoma Radio Sports Network. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. Hey, it's Sam here, your Lisco sales rep. Summertime weather is just around the corner, so you know the drill. Construction is in full swing, and we have limited time to get your order on the list for this year. As you're prioritizing your goals for 2022, let's make you the priority. We can chat details about what would make your home or business data connection the most successful. To add or update your services, call me, Samantha Newell, for your Lisco sales and account management. 641-209-5400-209-5400, or visit us at lisco.com. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Hi, this is Vince Tyson, General Manager with Citizens Mutual in Bloomfield, the area's premier broadband provider. Buffalo County, we have heard your screams of frustration. You need reliable internet, and we are proud to expand high-speed fiber internet into Wapolo County. Express your interest today by going to findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. Again, that's findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. We look forward to hearing from you and bringing you the very best internet service at Citizens Mutual, coming soon to Wapolo County. County. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. Tumwa High Basketball on KBIZ and on the live video stream. Bulldogs in Ames tonight. Girls game in the books. Ames won that one 37-32. Now we get you ready for the boys game. Tumwa comes in at 2-5, and five and they played last night at Burlington. And you kind of feel for the kids because it's a kind of a long trip to Burlington. Then the game started an hour late because the JV game went double overtime. And then Tumwa had to drive home late at night get up early, get to school tomorrow, and then come up here to Ames, and we're going to get another late start here because our JV girls game 
went overtime before the start of the girls game here tonight. Now, Watoma did some good things well last night against Burlington. They shot the ball fairly well, and they played pretty decent defense. But they were done in by 23 turnovers, as well as allowing 13 offensive rebounds to the Greyhounds. The turnovers continue to be the biggest issue, especially against a team that likes to press the way Burlington did. OHS can probably expect to see pressing defenses the rest of the season. Shakir Pope had a big night last night with 16 points and 8 rebounds, but his teammates could only combine for 23 more points, some of which came in the fourth quarter with the outcome decided. Atumwa has to find a way to get sophomore Trey Brown going again. He still leads the team with 12.1 points per game, but he didn't score last night until the fourth quarter when the game was out of reach. When Atumwa grabbed its two early wins, Brown was a focal point of the offense. OHS has to find a way back to that. Now, as for Ames, they come in at 4-4, four and four, and that's a bit of a struggle for them because a year ago, of course, they went 23-3, and three and they were your Class 4A state champions. Their head coach, Vance Downs, now in his 19th season, and he's won three state titles, the back-to-back -back ones in 20, uh, 2009 and 2010 with Harrison Barnes and Doug McDermott. And then the title last year with senior point guard Tamman Lipsy. Now, Lipsy has gone to Iowa State, and he's playing across town tonight, as a matter of fact, where Iowa State's got a big halftime lead over Texas Tech. Little Cyclones do still have some firepower, even though they're only at 500 through eight games. And before we continue into that, I am joined now by Bulldog girls head coach Joe Vandenberg. And Coach, as we bring you in here, obviously a, a tough game for your kids tonight. That press gave your team a lot of trouble offensively all night. Uh, they got a little better as the game went along, but but really, you had some trouble with their length and just seemed like you had trouble overcoming that. Yeah, we didn't reverse the ball early enough against the press. You know, we had to get them to commit on one side, then reverse it, and then we weren't, we weren't coming back on the back side to get the ball, and so we turned it over a couple of times early, early that hurt us. You know, in a five-point loss, one or two turnovers makes a difference, and that was it tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, their length got to us, but, you know, I still thought we got, got good shots, got good looks. We just didn't finish quite enough of them. You talk about things you look back on in a close loss, and I know you're probably tired of thinking about free throws, but six of 14 from the free throw line, you miss eight free throws in a game that you lose by five. And I, I know that's something that, that the kids are still young, they're still learning, but that's something I know you want to see them improve on. Absolutely, you know, I thought, thought Nelly stepped up and, and shot the ball pretty well tonight from the line. Uh, we missed too many from there, obviously, uh, especially in a close game. Um, you know, it's not like we don't practice them, we're just, they're not going in right now. Uh, the girls are working hard, man. I, I told them, you know, in the locker room, I talked to them about how far we've come as a team in the last year, you know, and right now we're upset about a five-point loss in the road, and we've been in worse places as a team, but we're not done yet. You know, we're still progressing. We're still coming forward, um, you know, but we got to keep focusing on how much better that we've gotten as a team and understanding that, you know, at this point, frustration's a lot better than where we've been. And I know you don't want to have any excuses, but Ames hadn't played since Thursday. You're playing the second of back-to-back -back nights, and you have to come on the road to do it. Did you think that fatigue was any kind of a factor tonight with your kids? I thought we were a little short on some shots early on, but you know, I think we, we went man-to-man -man in the first quarter, and they hit us on some pick-and-roll action that we weren't ready for to switch, and they got some easy buckets that we probably should have went to zone on instead. And um, you know, I thought the fatigue maybe affected our shooting early on, but I thought we got our legs back under us pretty well. But yeah, it's tough to play back-to-back, -to -back, you know, and that's where we got ourselves caught tonight. Tom Ohio head coach Joe Vandenberg. His team will be back at it Friday night at home. I know you've had a home game this week, but a lot of road games before that. Good to be back at home Friday night when you take on Des Moines East. Coach, we'll see you then. Thanks, Jason. Go dogs. All right, let's take a two-minute timeout. We'll come back with the starting lineups for the boys' game on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Get the small town charm with real world experience at William Penn University. Located in beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, William Penn is the perfect place to pursue your higher education. We offer a diverse selection of majors, including a four year nursing degree, and our state of the art facilities offer the latest technology. With small class sizes and affordable tuition, William Penn is a great place to call home. Invest in your future at William Penn. Visit wmpenn.edu today to learn more and enroll. 